Hello my loves and welcome to Earth's Fail. I'm Kat and I'm going to do the reading for Taurus, okay? For uh, the bulls. Alright Taurus, so this is a general reading. This is for June 2021, okay? So, you know, no time is lucid, right? So, you can, you know, you could have already went through this or it could be predictive, okay? I just set my intention for June 2021, but it really can happen at any time. Or it has already happened or you're going through it now okay so I hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day I don't think I said that on the Aries reading but anyway Aries I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day some of you guys could be dealing with Aries okay you can have it in your chart either way I hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day and look uh, the reason why you know look at this okay that's my granddaughter so I love it and she's in a little witch hat and that was um, a Mother's Day present to me from my daughters so I absolutely love it so, um, yeah my little mystical beautiful granddaughter here yeah, she's absolutely beautiful okay and it's like you know she already has the wisdom that that's just unbelievable at the age of three okay it's a, a magical creature which all children are they are these magical beings. Okay, Taurus. So, when I was meditating on your sign, okay, and this, you can have Taurus in your, you know, of course, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, anywhere in your chart, okay? When I was meditating on your sign and, and, and figuring out what was going to take place or what kind of energies you could be dealing with or be in in the month of June 2021, I was getting that, you know, timing is, timing is of some significance for you guys, okay, in the month of June. I feel like y'all have been working on a project or working on something and, or just, you know, working and working and you just feel like it's, it's not paying off, your hard work isn't paying off. Something's, you, you're feeling like something's not going to come into fruition for you, okay? And the divine is saying it, it is, okay? It is all in divine timing. Just know that the divine is working behind the scenes in your favor. They are, okay? They're, they're putting things in place. Their time is different than ours, right? So it can seem like it's taking a long time. But they're saying just have patience. Just have patience. And know that they are with you and that they're working behind the scenes okay so and so I'm feeling that you are going to accomplish a goal or a dream or something that you have set out to do you are going to accomplish it in the month of June or whatever but you will and um, the divine is just asking you to, to know that they're working on your behalf and um, just to have patience okay I also got that, um, yeah, and also just to focus on one thing at a time. You know, you're only one person. You can only do one thing at one time. I feel like a lot of you guys are juggling a lot, maybe more than, um, you know, you have a, a career, a job, a passion, you know, family, kids, you know, you're in a relationship or you're married or, you know, you could um, be dating or whatever. You just have a lot on your plate, okay? And, um... And so the divine is just saying, focus on one thing, okay? Just, you know, one step at a time, day by day. That's all you can really do. Okay, I'm also getting that you need to, to speak out. I feel like there's fear in speaking. Spirit is saying that you have a voice. You have a powerful voice, okay? And this could be you could actually be a singer, okay? Or... You are you can influence the world by just speaking, okay? And for some reason, I feel like some of you guys could be in the energy of feeling like you really don't have anything to offer, okay? And the divine is saying, the universe is saying that that's not true, that your voice is very powerful, okay? You have a lot of wisdom, and you have things that, that needs to be shared, and once you, you know, you step out and you share them, it's going to be well received, okay? And people are going to, are going to love you for that, okay? That your, your, your voice, I'm hearing, has a powerful punch, okay? So, you know, speak up, speak out. 
Okay, I'm also getting Taurus that in the month of June, I, I feel like you've been dealing with an individual, and this could be in love, it could be um, a member of your family, you know, a family member, a friend, okay? Someone in your circle, but this is someone that has caused you pain, okay? This is someone that has, has hurt you before, okay? And, and I heard loudly that this person has hurt you before, and they haven't changed, and they will hurt you again, okay? This is not to scare you, but this is just take heed. Like I said, this is not going to be for everybody. But I feel like there there's an individual around you that is just sucking the energy out of you. Okay, sucking the life out of you. Okay, it reminds me of just like an energy vampire. So, um, and it's like almost, I'm feeling like an urgency to get away from this individual. Okay? Like, like it's a must. It's a have to. Like you have to leave this situation or this partnership or the family dynamic or something of that nature it is like a an emergency really to leave this individual because they are sucking the life out of you okay i'm also feeling the energy of you know the death card meaning transformation okay ending something to start something new Okay, and I'm also um, a lot of transformation here, something changing in your life, either, you know, in the month of June, but something definitely is going to happen and take place that is going to change, um, you know, your your family dynamic, your relationship, or, or, or what have you. Okay, oh, now they're going to start mowing my yard, are you serious? Wow, okay, I'm going to talk loud. All right, Taurus, so... Yeah, you have a voice. Yeah, it could be in regards to a career, okay? You could be getting information, an inheritance. Someone could be gifting you something. Okay, this is a new start in stability, okay? But something is just, something or someone is just sucking the life out of you, sucking the energy, and, and it's like the universe, I can feel it. The energy is of an, an importance. It is imperative that you get out of whatever situation that you are in, okay? I'm feeling that it is very toxic to you um, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, okay? I know that's deep, but it's real. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just know that you deserve, you deserve more. Your spirit say you deserve more Taurus. Alright, so Spirit, what do we have for Taurus? June 2021. June 2021. We get some of these. For Taurus. June 2021. We have for Taurus. skills, creative power, and personal efforts. Okay, so yeah, some of you guys are really creative, and it's saying use your voice, okay, sing if you're a singer, but using your voice, speaking up, speaking out, okay, it's going to be well received. You're very creative, okay, you're going to be using your skills for something in the month of June, okay, and a lot of creative power here is something, you know, something that you're passionate about, that you're, you know, being very creative with, okay? Your efforts are going to pay off, pay off, and remember that the universe is, um, is working behind the scenes, okay? So, it's going to, it's going to pay off, of course it is. Okay, so keep doing what you're doing, okay? Just remember to have patience. One foot in front of the other is all you can do day by day, okay? And 
trust in the divine, know that they are working in your behalf. Let's get some of these. What else for Taurus in June? Can't believe her <laughs> My grass needs it though. Okay, sorry Taurus. Sorry. Oh, okay. So good news. Good news is coming in, Taurus, okay? It could have something to do with um, your skills, okay? Um, a skill set that you have, creative powers, or, so, you know, your personal effort, something that you've been putting effort into, okay? So you're getting some good news here. Yeah. Victory in some endeavor. Wow, Taurus. So whatever, see, see, I know what to see, the divine, I love you guys. I'm telling you, victory in some endeavor, good news, okay? It's something involving, you know, using your skills, your creativity, you know, your personal efforts, all of, all the above. You're going to get some good news here, okay? So listen up, listen out for the good news, okay? You have the V here for victory, okay? Victory in some endeavor. I love it. We'll get one more. Okay, and then we'll get some tarot. One more for Taurus, June 2021. Also, if you are in a relationship, Taurus, with someone, I am seeing or feeling the energy of um, possible separation or some time apart would do some good, okay? that could be taking place in the month of June. What else? The well. Great worry over nothing. See? Wow. So, you know, impatient, feeling impatient that, you know, your goals, your dreams, it's not going to pay off. Right? You're running out of patience. You're actually getting annoyed with it. I can feel you, Taurus. You're getting annoyed. You're getting agitated. You're getting irritable. <laughs> All right? But, you know, ever something that you've been working on, but, you know, you, you, you've got good news coming in, and Spirit is saying you're, you're really worrying over nothing. This is really nothing to worry about. They have your back. They're working in your behalf. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. That's what I have, Taurus. It's beautiful. I mean, I don't know how much uh, more validation you need or, you know, clarification that you need. Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So, resting, thinking, rejuvenating. Some of you could be feeling a little down or a little ill in the month of June, okay? Um, this is um, resting and recuperating after the Three of Swords, okay? You have the Three of Swords and you have the Four of Swords. So, this is, you know, after heartbreak or or something of that nature, you have to heal, right? You have to take a time out and you have to heal. And this is where the four swords, four swords comes in. So, I'm just laying there, you're not, you know, you're just thinking, overall, just thinking, resting, taking a time out, you know, taking some steps back, okay? All right, so tour is, um, in the past here, I see that there you have the Ace of Cups here in your past position. So this is a lot of love, a lot of emotion for something or someone, okay? This is something new, all right? Something that you are... Hold on. Oh, my goodness, that lawnmower is going to aggravate the piss out of me. All right, anyway. <laughs> so, okay. So maybe you, you guys are getting interrupted or, or what have you. Like I, I felt the energy of being annoyed, okay? So anyway, so you have the Ace of Cups here. So you can have new love, um, a new beginning in emotion, okay? This is, you know, this is a lot of love. Okay, someone new. 
could have um, came into your life, okay? And, and that you're very passionate about, that you know that you have a lot of emotion for, okay? And um, you know, in your present, I feel like you're getting clarity, okay? Because you have the Ace of Swords, and these are two two cards of, of new beginnings, okay? So in the Ace of Swords, you know, you, you could you could look at it as you know cutting someone out that is no longer you know deserving, or cutting something out that is that you are using your discernment on and, and cutting it out, okay? So yeah, in the present moment, is you know, you're in the energy of just cutting out things that no longer serve you anymore. Okay, in the future, you have the full. So this is new as well, okay? This is starting over. This is taking a leap of faith. Yeah, it can be a little risky, okay? But you know, you want to do it. You want to start over. You want to have a fresh start. You know, you, you're going to trust in the divine, that the divine has your back, and you're just going to go for it. Okay, major arcana for Aries here. Some of you guys could have Aries in your chart, or you could be dealing with one. Okay, so let's see. Let's clarify. What is this Ace of Cups here for Taurus? could just be in the energy now of just, you know, taking a break, taking, you know, some steps back. Okay, so you have the King of Pentacles here. So this is somebody very reliable, very um, stable, very, you know, they're steady. They make wise decisions. They're, they're, they're very, um, very stable. It could be a father of your children or, you know, just, you, there's love here and there's, it's a new beginning. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, okay, but it doesn't have to be. This is someone that is very, very stable, okay. They they have material gain. They, you know, they work for what they have. Um, you know, they're intelligent, they're smart, they're stable. They're, you know, it's your, it's your family um, kind of guy or gal, okay. So, you could have met this person. This person could be new in your life. We'll get more. Or this is how someone is viewing you, Taurus. Alright. So what is this King of Pentacles? So you have someone here that is very stable. There's a new beginning here in love, yeah. So this King of Pentacles is, is holding, you know, something to their chest. Like, yeah, I feel like they're holding on to you, okay? They're keeping something close to their chest. They're not wanting to let go. They're not wanting to let go of a new beginning here of, of emotion, okay, of love. Yeah, and there's also clarity here as well. Definitely clarity coming in, okay. Any more? There's the four of pentacles. Confusion. So I feel like Taurus, now this could be you in the energy of just focusing on your stability, being very stable, making wise business decisions. You could be, you know, you know, you're that stable mom, stable dad. Okay, and you're holding something close to your chest. You might be really confused about something. You could have a lot of options when it comes to, you know, this can be relationships, career, job, anything. So this something that brings you <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of joy and a lot of fulfillment. Okay. You could be confused as to what to do. I do feel like an individual here is wanting to hold on to you. They're not wanting to let go. Okay. And here you are, the heart font. So this definitely could be a commitment. Okay. You could be wanting to. This is a major arcana for Taurus. So this is your energy. So, this is really wanting to hold on to something, but being confused at the same time. Someone here is wanting to hold on to, to something, okay? 
And it's causing a lot of confusion. There's confusion in this commitment. Whatever you're committed to, Taurus, about this commitment, I feel like you're going to get, or you're in the energy now of actually... Okay, so, yeah, I feel like you've been confused when it comes to something that you're committed to, okay? But I feel like you're in the energy now of gaining clarity. Okay, what is this? What is the Ace of Swords spirit? Yeah, you have the Page of Swords. So you could be watching someone, or someone could be watching you, or kind of studying you. Okay, someone definitely here, I feel like, has their eye on you. They don't want to let go of you. Okay. I mean, I'm getting kind of a stalkerish vibe here. And, and maybe you are becoming aware of this, okay? And, and you're going to cut that out. Okay, Taurus. What else do we have? What else do we have? Yeah, someone here is very manipulative. Someone here is a liar. Someone here is a sneak. Okay, I am getting a stalker vibe too, Taurus. So, be careful with this individual, okay? I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like you are in the energy of being stable, focusing on what matters to you, you, you know, your emotions, okay? What makes you feel good, your, your, your fulfillment, okay? But you're, there's something here that needs to be cut off, okay? Cut out. And I believe in the month of June, or if you're not already doing this, or if you haven't already, that's what's going to take place. Someone here is very sneaky, manipulative, being very methodical when it comes to you, Taurus. Or you are them. But I don't feel like this is your energy. Alright, Seven of Swords. What does this mean? What does this mean? Yeah. You're going to have to defend yourself. Seven of Wands. Yeah. You're going to have to defend yourself, Taurus, against this person, this individual. You could have to block them, or you're going to block them. Okay. Why? What else? Can you tell me about this person? Or Taurus. Yeah. Could be someone at a distance from you, or someone that wants to travel to you, or you're going to travel to. Okay, it's almost like, you know leaving chaos behind and you're going to move forward Taurus because I do feel like yeah I do feel like there is there is new love here okay something that, that you're you're passionate about you're you know you're, you, this is love this is new this is um, or new love and it doesn't necessarily mean like someone new but this is like you know say you're already in a commitment and there's been some confusion or whatever, you know, you're going to cut that out. Or there, if there's been some sneaky or deceitful behavior, you know, you're going to cut that out. And you're, you guys could both decide to move on together or separately from another. But you're wanting to move on to camaraders. You're wanting to leave the chaos and the conflict and the fights and all that behind. And, and focus on what really makes you happy and what really fulfills you. Okay? So it could be actually new love coming in and new love and new feeling of emotion for someone or for someone you're dealing with, you know, has these emotions for someone or for you, Taurus, okay? And or, you know, this is you're already in a commitment and y'all decide to, you know, have a fresh start when it comes to emotions and things like that. But I do feel like your guard is up with this individual. Your defenses are up. I feel like you know that they are watching you. And, um, yeah, I, I feel like you know that they're, they're manipulative. I think you know that they're sneaky, and I think you know that they're a liar. And I think you're about to cut this bad boy out. Or a bad girl. Okay, I do. Alright, so, in the month of June, you have the full the future position, you have the full. So what is this about? This is Aries. Okay. What 
is this full? Some of you could be taking a leap of faith again and going back to using your skills, using your voice, speaking up, speaking out. Okay, the universe is saying you have a powerful voice, you have a wonderful wisdom. People will listen if you speak. Okay, I'm also hearing that. You know, that made me wonder that um, if you build it, they will come. Okay, so Taurus, there you go. All right, if you speak, they'll listen. Yeah. So this new beginning, this fresh new start, okay, is causing you or someone some conflict, okay? There could be some competition, some battle here, okay? It's causing some outer, some inner conflict, okay? This new start that you're wanting to take, Taurus, and I feel like this is you. Wanting to take that leap of faith, okay? Wanting to follow the divine. This is five of wands for Taurus. Five of wands, the lovers. Yeah. Making a decision, a clear decision. This could be in love. It doesn't have to be. But this it could just be making a clear decision when it comes you know, to anything, okay? But the love, this is Gemini, major arcana for Gemini, but... This is, you know, passionate love connection. So, you could be having some inner conflict or some outer conflict or whatever, some competition. There could be some competition in your relationship, okay, or your connection with someone. Yeah. Because I'm just, you know, I don't know, my spirit just wanted me to focus on this card a little bit, but... You know, it's like they're divinely guided, right? But also, in, in this deck, there's a snake in the background. There's a snake in the background. And also, I don't know, they're just kind of looking at each other like, like what? Like, what are we going to do? What do you want to do? And then what's happening? So I feel like there's a decision here that needs to be made. Leave of faith, the lovers. Explain this, spirit, please. What is the lovers here? Yeah, someone here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. But this is, um, you have the, the King of Cups here. King, Queen, it doesn't matter. Male, female, feminine, masculine. This is a masculine energy here, though, that has a lot of love for you Taurus they have a lot of love for you they may not um, some of you definitely could be dealing with an Aries so or have it in your chart so I check out that that reading as well but this is someone that they, they're they're in control of their emotions okay but they do they have a lot of love for you and they may not express it in the same way that you do okay but they do they have love for you and this person could want to have this leap of faith with you. Okay, starting new with you. They have this, you know, passionate connection with you. And they're just kind of looking at you towards like, well, what, do you, what do you want to do? You know, do you want to do this thing or not? Because, you know, I'm all conflicted over here. And I, I don't really know. Like, I'm tripping over my own feet here. Like, who all do I have to fight? Who all do I have to battle? You know, what else needs to go on before I can really show you that I love you? You know, or just know that I love you. So I'm here and just know that I love you. Okay, so what is this King of Cups? For Taurus, yeah, wish fulfillment. So Taurus, this is someone that, uh, all right. Taurus, I'm going to be real. Okay, I feel like there is someone here in your energy in the month of June, okay, that you are going to want to let go of, that you no longer want to be in a commitment with, or you no longer want to have, you know, you no longer want to be with this person. I'm going to keep it real. I feel like this person can be somewhat selfish, and they can be indulging. Okay, they do view you as their wish fulfillment, as something that they want, but I almost feel like it's an 
obsession or you're more like a possession to them. Okay, like a piece of property. Like they feel like almost like they have, because look at that sneaky grin. So they, they, they have love for you. They do. But we have an individual here that I don't trust. I don't trust them, Taurus. I don't. Could be like some codependency here. Some, I, I'm getting strong obsession because we have the stalker here. I feel like, you know, you're going to cut off someone. You're going you're gonna to cut something out. A person, place, or thing. I'm really feeling like this is another individual. You know, and they, they've been stalking you. They've been watching you. They're sneaky. They're deceitful. They lie. Okay? And they're going to want a new start, a new beginning. They're going to want this. And they're, they don't want to let go. Okay, yeah. And Taurus, this person, they don't, they're not, they don't want to let go of you. They don't. They don't want to let go. Look, they're holding on. They're holding on in their sneaky ways. They're watching you. Okay, they're toxic. Okay, I'm feeling obsession. I feel like you are their wish fulfillment. Or that you are just something that they want, okay? Simply just something that they want. But, um, so yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I feel like you're going to have to block this individual and, and, and move away. Move away to calm waters, you know, get away from this individual. You know, I'm hearing focus on your new start, focus on your new beginning. You know, focus on the divine. Know that the divine is give, bringing you clarity and they are bringing you love. Okay. They are bringing you love. But be careful with this individual. Okay. Because I don't feel like they're going to make it easy for you to move on. I don't. I don't think they're going to make it easy for you to move on. So, but everything is happening in divine timing. Okay. I did feel, like I told you before at the beginning of your energy, there is a blood-sucking energy sucking vampire in your energy okay this is someone that has hurt you before and loud and clear I've heard they will hurt you again so and I do feel like you're going to get the clarity that you need to move on from this individual but just be warned you know just be aware that you know they um, might not go that easy right I don't feel like it's anything to fear. I think you are protected, okay? Like I said, the angels are working behind the scenes on your behalf. So, you know, you focus on your goals, your dreams, because you do have them. And you, you know, but even here, great worry over nothing. Great worry over nothing. So, Taurus, good news is coming in about victory on your endeavors. On your creativeness, okay, your personal efforts, your skills, and victory. Good news and victory. It's all right there. All right, Taurus, so that's what I have for you. You know, rest, relax, take your steps back, okay, get out of the situation. If you are, if this story is not yours, do not claim it, okay? This is for the Taurus that, that know that there is someone around them that has hurt them that that you know is draining them of their energy and they know it's time to to separate from this individual they know it's time to move on okay all right i love you taurus and i will see you next time bye my loves